Hey, what's happening guys? I've got something pretty cool for you today. We are using this radio module once again. Zoom in here so you can see it. This is the SI4703 radio module and it uh, communicates to the Arduino through the I squared C interface. So you only need two wires plus power. Uh, on one caveat, you will see this uh, lovely, which one is it here? Uh, this blue one, which is connected to the reset pin. Uh, it's also necessary. So it's actually a three wire interface. And we've got it hooked up here to an Arduino Mega with this nice LCD shield on top of it. Now, one of the things that you have to note is that the radio libraries for the SI4703 chip are looking to communicate on the I squared C pins of A4 and A5 for an Uno or a Nano. They're not looking to communicate on pins 20 and 21, which are the I squared C pins for the Mega. You see there? SDA is on 20 and SCL is on 21. So when we go into the programming, we will need to make a slight change. Nothing big. But we will have to get into the source code and make a change. So we have the SI4703 FM radio board connected via I squared C to the Nano, I mean, <laughs> to the Mega. And it is also connected on pin 52 here for the reset and you can see that right there and what I've created is a touchscreen radio pretty cool let's go and check out the code the first thing that we need to do is open the SI4703 CPP file in the library and make a couple changes because we are using the Mega. We need to come down here and where it says define reset pin is set for two. We need to change it to 52. And then we need to change SDIO from A4 to 20 and S clock from A5 to 21. And that's it. Now we can look at the code. All right, so this is a sketch for my Arduino touchscreen radio using the SI4703, a 2.8 inch TFT LCD, and currently this only works with Omega. Okay, bunch of libraries. Adafruit GFX, because we're doing a bunch of drawing. Adafruit TFT LCD because we're using a TFT LCD. Touchscreen because we're touching. Wire, that's the I squared C library. And since the radio is an I squared C device, we definitely need that. We also need the master radio library and the individual SI4703 library. Now we're going to define our pins for the touch screen then we will define our minimum and maximum values for the touch screen I just uh, create an instance of the radio here then we will create an instance of the touch screen called TS using those pins we just defined and a pressure minimum of 300 now we will define pins for the LCD and we are sharing them, as you can see, with the touch screen, and that's gonna be important here in a couple minutes. Next, we'll take the hexadecimal color values and define them as English words. And then we'll create an instance of the Adafruit TFT LCD called TFT using the pins we just defined. 
Next, some variables. An integer called station, an integer called volume, integers called horizontal and vertical, and strings for the RDS. That's the radio data service, and it is not currently implemented right now. Next, we have our setup. Serial begin for debug, TFT reset, and TFT begin with our chip identifier. Then we have TFT set rotation to one for widescreen, fill it black, put the cursor in the upper left, set the color to white, text size to two, and print our header on top of the screen, Arduino FM radio. All right, now we are going to draw a bunch of rounded rectangles. So the first one is a white outline around the screen. Then we're going to draw a box that will display our station info in red, a box that will display our volume in blue, a box that will display our mute button, also in blue because it's related to volume, a box for the RDS data in yellow. Then we're going to draw up and down buttons for the station, up and down buttons for the volume. And inside those red and blue rounded rectangles, we are going to draw triangles pointing up and pointing down. Now here is the layout for drawing a triangle. This is the top point, bottom left, bottom right, and color. All right. Now we will put the cursor in the mute box, set our text size to three, and print a big old X in it. Then we initialize the radio, set the band frequency, set the volume, set it for stereo, and set it for sound on. This is a function that we're going to skip over for right now. Come down here to our main loop, and this is all our screen updates. We will write the station in the station box, the volume in the volume box, and the RDS data in the RDS box. Then we're going to look for a touch. And since I said we're sharing pins, we need to change the directions of the pins from input to output when we do this. So first thing we do is digital write 13 high, and we say TS point. That is our touchscreen command P, touchscreen get point. So now we have the touchscreen data if you are touching the screen. We set 13 to low, and we set XM and YP back to output. Now we say if our pressure, which is PZ, is greater than our pressure threshold, which was at 300 up above, then we're going to map our horizontal to p.x, our vertical to p.y, and we're going to call the function think. So here's the function think, and that is our logic for the buttons. So the first thing we say is if that touch is in between the x position for the station up button, check if it is in the y position. So if it is in the X and Y position, the boundaries of that box, then station equals station plus 20. Then we'll draw a new rectangle over station to clear it, and we will radio dot set frequency station. Then we do the same thing for station down. If it's in the X boundary, check to make sure it's in the Y boundary. Then it's station minus 20. Redraw the box and set the station. Same for volume up. If it's in the X boundary, check for the Y boundary. Then volume increment, draw the box to clear it, set the volume. Same thing for volume down, same thing for mute. And why it does that is it clears the box and then we come down here to our update and it redraws all the information. So that's it.
let's check it out in action. All right, so you've seen the code. Let's check it out in action. Power that bad boy up. Zoom in here so you can see. I'm going to turn off these overhead lights so that we're not getting so much glare here. There we go. So now you can see a little better the controls for the radio. The first thing we have is the station and you can see we are on 103.5 and then we have station up and station down. So if you touch the buttons, it goes up. There seems to be some sort of a delay here. I can't figure out why. There's down. Now, down below it, we have the volume control and a mute button. And then we have, of course, volume up. And volume down whenever the delay is done. There we go. Volume down. Now, down here, it might be kind of hard to see. In the yellow box, I have the provisions to do the RDS radio data service. I haven't done it yet. This is still, you know, my preliminary. Uh, so the RDS may come in a second iteration. Now, just a note, because I got a question before about the antenna. The antenna in this case is the headphones. And I'll give you a quick preview of it playing. That's it because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But as you can hear, it is plenty loud and it works really well. So if you guys enjoyed this, give me the old thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share, and don't forget to subscribe. All right, catch you guys later.